Welcome to ARC, a festival dedicated to light projection and where the main event is not the music. Forget stages, it's domes that reign here. And the DJs inside, well, they're programmers too. So what's all the fuss about? A near-perfect 360-degree live projected light show. An eye-popping place where music meets visuals, programming meets performance. Behind the lights, six perfectly aligned projectors each cast a part of one big image onto the concave ceiling. Each portion is adjusted with millimetre precision by a calibration process carried out the day before. It's one vast digital sky. The patterns dance in time to the beat, their colours and intensity mirroring the mood of the music. At the helm, these guys, known as RFID, use their own specially developed software to control various elements like speed, colour, size of the visuals and even what kind of things to project. It allows them to program on the fly so they can design on impulse and go with the flow of the room. And by manipulating existing 3D animation software, they can also create high-resolution video files which are then mixed together and displayed in the dome. But is this all really necessary? What's wrong with a good old thumping tube? If you want to get into this nice, real dialogue between you and the audience, and there's always a dialogue when you're on stage, then you should be able to adapt and control uh, just to set the right mood in combination with those people. And that goes for both visuals and for audio. And now the immersive nature of the dome is spreading out onto the main stage, applying the same curve theory to a much wider and mainstream audience, which, if taken up by big headline acts, could be big business for RFID. With this, we've, we've, we've had a few investors that have been interested enough in what we do to, to put some money in, but even still, we're still flying by the seat of our pants. Like, you know, it's, it is what it is. And money is one of the greatest problems for small startups like this. However, the big boys now also want a piece of the projection pie, and they have many more resources to help them take immersive tech global.